everyone it's me Olya here you are welcome to my channel in this video we are going to learn eight expressions very commonly used by native ukrainian speakers uh, that contain the names of animals but before we get to our idioms i would like to take a moment to appreciate my patrons the people who are supporting my channel financially thank you so much your support truly means a lot you can see the names of some of these wonderful people on your screen if you enjoy my content and would like to join my patrons and support me as well you can find the link to my patreon down below as well as all the links to my other social media also with all my patrons with everybody who is a patron i am sharing the materials that i have been using in my videos i think for a while now for more than a year such as this particular presentation so if you want to be able to download these materials you're welcome to become my patron as well and yeah now we can finally start learning so phrase number one expression number one is pro vovka promovka pro vovka promovka it has an english equivalent that is this has the similar meaning it, it actually means the same thing however sounds a bit differently in english it is speak of the devil uh, so in ukrainian we say speak of a wolf in english we say speak of the devil so when do we say such thing when we are talking with somebody about a person and then they all of a sudden appear in front of you right so what a coincidence right we were just talking about you speak of the devil and in the same situation in ukrainian we would say pro vovka promovka vovk means a wolf so pro vovka promovka for instance привіт а ми якраз про тебе щойно говорили про вовка промовка привіт а ми якраз про тебе щойно говорили. Про вовка, про мовка. Oh, hello. We were just talking about you now. Speak of the devil or про вовка, про мовка. So yeah, in a situation where you were talking about a person recently and now they appear in front of you, you can use a phrase like that. Про вовка, про мовка. Expression number two брати бика за роги брати бика за роги it actually has an english equivalent as well and it is literally the same thing but in ukrainian it means to take the bull by the horns брати means to take бика means the bull and за роги means by the horns so brate bika za rohe means to take the bull by the horns what it means actually because we were talking literal translation it actually means to act decisively right to take the decision and to act upon it right uh, so for instance oleh vyrishiv що треба брати бика за роги і пішов просити шефа про підвищення Олег вирішив що треба брати бика за роги і пішов просити шефа про підвищення so to take a situation into your own hands right to take the lead to decide something and to act upon it so Олег вирішив Олег decided що треба брати бика за роги that he needs to take the bull by the horns and і пішов and went просити to ask шефа a boss про підвищення about the um, promotion підвищення means promotion right so Oleg decided to act decisively to take the bull by the horns and went to the boss to ask uh, for a uh, promotion right so to take the bull by the horns in ukrainian brati bika za rohe also a very commonly used phrase in ukrainian of course if the, there is an occasion to say something like that the next one is also very interesting vedmeja posluha vedmeja posluha a bear means vedmit 
And posluha means favor. So vedmeja posluha means a favor of a bear or a bear's favor. That's literal translation. What does it mean actually? When somebody does a bear's favor to you, vedmeja posluha, they are doing you a disservice. They are doing a favor that is not really a favor and only causes negative consequences. That is the sort of thing you do to a person when you have good intentions, your intentions are good, but because different reasons, the result turn out to be very negative. There is a story behind this. Uh, the, there was a sort of old fairy tale about a bear and a loner. So that person was living a life of a loner and he was so lonely that he uh, made a friend with a bear. So two friends started to live together and when the loner was sleeping, the bear noticed that there is a fly on his face, on the loner's face. And of course, being a good friend, a bear wanted to um, to kill the fly so it doesn't bother the loner so he can sleep peacefully, right? He wanted to do a favor. But being a strong animal and not very gracious, right? Usually we think of bears as these big clumsy uh, animals. He hit the loner on his face and killed both the fly and a person, right? He killed his own friend, having good intentions, right? So the sort of a favor that's a disservice, right? That has negative consequences. For instance, виконуючи усі забаганки дитини, ви робите їй ведмежу послугу. Виконуючи усі забаганки дитини, Ви робите їй ведмежу послугу. By um, acting on every whim of a child, you are doing the child a um, bear's favor, a disservice, right? So if you do everything that a child is telling you to do, if you are following their every whim, then you are doing them a disservice. Next one. Uh, дивитися вовком. Дивитися вовком. Дивитися means to look. And вовком means like a wolf. So doesn't mean to have an appearance of a wolf. It means to have a face expression of a wolf. To look at somebody uh, with the look that reminds a wolf to look at somebody with hostility, right? To, to look with madness, with anger, or to treat somebody with anger or with hostility, All right? So, to look like a wolf. For instance, Oksana хотіла помиритися з сусідами, але вони досі дивляться на неї вовком. Оксана хотіла помиритися з сусідами, але вони досі дивляться на неї вовком. Оксана wanted, Оксана хотіла помиритися means to, to make peace or to make up uh, з сусідами, with neighbors. So Оксана wanted to make up with neighbors, але вони досі дивляться на неї вовком. But they still are looking at her in this wolfish way. Uh, looking at her with hostility or treating her with hostility, right? Uh, so, yeah. Or you can say, um, Чого ти дивишся на мене вовком? Що я тобі зробила? Why are you looking at me like a wolf? Why are you looking angrily? What did I do to you? Що я тобі зробила? Or що я тобі зробив, if you are a male, right? Okay, so if somebody is looking at you like that, with anger, um, with madness in their eyes, you can say, Перестань дивитись на мене вовком. Or, Чого ти дивишся на мене вовком? Why are you looking at me like that, angrily? Дивитися вовком. Дивитися вовком. Next, phrase number five. Бути на коні. 
бути на коні, to be on a horse. So if we think about it, a person who is on a horse is in a better, is always in a better situation than a person who is just standing on the ground and having to walk on their um, foot, right? So to be on a horse means to be successful or to be in a winning position, right? Compared to somebody who is standing on the ground with their feet. So, yeah. For instance, рік сумлінної праці і ми знову на коні. Рік сумлінної праці і ми знову на коні. Рік means a year. Сумлінної праці means of um, a thorough or, or of a hard work, right? Сумлінна праця means hard work or thorough work. І ми знову на коні. And we are on a horse again, right? So a year of hard work and we are on a horse again. And we are successful again. And we are the winners again, right? So yeah, to be a winner, to be successful means to be on a horse. Бути на коні. Бути на коні. And next expression number six is the expression I really, really love. I'm using it whenever I have an occasion. It is знов за рибу гроші. Знов за рибу гроші. Usually told with an eye roll. Знов за рибу гроші. Знов за рибу гроші. Знов за рибу гроші. Literally, if we have to translate it, it means znov means again, za rybu for fish, and hroshi means money. Again, money for fish. Doesn't make much sense, so let's try and figure out what it means actually. So we use a phrase like that with an eye roll usually, but the eye roll is optional. Uh, when we react to somebody who keeps repeating the same thing over and over again and we can't believe that they are again back to this topic you discussed everything you thought you have figured everything out and here they go again you know in english we would say here we go again really i can't believe you keep keep talking this or i can't believe you keep talking about that i can't believe you are you keep bringing this topic up we have discussed everything why are you doing that in ukraine we are saying Znov za rybu гроші. Znov za rybu гроші. Okay? For instance, a ти, Сергію, знов за рибу гроші. Ми ж з тобою вже все обговорили. А ти, Сергію, знов за рибу гроші. Ми ж з тобою вже все обговорили. And you, Сергій, again, fish for money. Like, here we go again, Сергій. Ми ж з тобою вже все обговорили. We have already talked this through with you. So why are you bringing it back, right? Знов за рибу гроші. Знов за рибу гроші. So whenever you have an occasion, try using this um, phrase and you are going to sound super Ukrainian, super native. Next one, number seven. Is дивитись як баран на нові ворота. Дивитись як баран на нові ворота. Okay? To look like a ram at a new gate. Дивитись means to look. Як баран, like a ram, на нові ворота. On or at a new gate. So in Ukrainian folklore, I don't know about you, you tell me about uh, some interesting instances of uh, animals having human personal personality traits in your folklore, I would like to hear them. So in Ukrainian, um, baran is usually considered someone dumb, right? So if somebody is, is not very bright, right, we could just say baran. Тато справжній баран. He is a real ram, right? Баран. Що з ним говорити? То баран. There is no point to talk to them. They are a ram. Okay? A, a male a ship ram. Баран, right? So to look as a ram is looking at a new gate 
means to 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 stare with confusion right to stare at something with confusion not understanding what is going on right because we consider rams stupid again a very mean uh, stereotype about a person uh, about an animal <laughs> Uh, yeah. So if a ram comes back home and sees a new gate, he doesn't know what's going on. He he doesn't know where the old gate is, where his house at. He doesn't know anything, right? He has li very little brains to understand that it's just the new gates and it's still his place, right? For instance, ти читаєш чи просто дивишся у книжку як баран на нові ворота? Ти читаєш чи просто дивишся у книжку як баран на нові ворота? Are you reading or just staring in a book as like a ram at a new gate, right? So are you actually reading? Are you actually understanding uh, what is going on or are you just staring with confusion? Or for instance, не дивись як баран на нові ворота, починай працювати. Don't stare like a ram on a new gate. Uh, don't stare with confusion start working start doing the work okay so to look at something with this dumb face expression with confusion дивитись як баран на нові ворота that is something that every ukrainian child is hearing in their lifetime at least once next one and the last one for today is робити з мухи слона робити з мухи слона there is an english equivalent to this expression it is to to make mountains out of molehills which basically means to exaggerate right to make things seem bigger than they actually are робити means to make з мухи from a fly Slona elephant. So to make an elephant out of the fly. In English, we make mountains out of the molehills. So to make an exaggeration. Robiti zmuhi slona. Robiti zmuhi slona. For instance, ne varto robiti zmuhi slona. Don't exaggerate, right? Don't make mountains out of molehills. Or let's take my instance. Use bude dobre. Це лише одна маленька помилка. Не роби з мухи слона. Усе буде добре. Everything's going to be okay. Це лише одна маленька помилка. This is only one small mistake. Не роби з мухи слона. Don't make mountains out of molehills or don't make an elephant out of the fly. Don't exaggerate. Don't make it bigger than it is, right? Робити з мухи слона. So yeah, these were my eight expressions that contain the names of different animals. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you learned something new to really spice up your vocabulary, to really surprise native speakers around you and to sound very native yourself. So if you enjoyed this video and if you would like more expressions like that, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, give it a thumbs down react in any way i appreciate all of your feedback also i would really appreciate you leaving any comment on this video just write anything it really helps me to promote my videos on youtube it helps me with the algorithm so i truly appreciate your every interaction with my videos and yeah also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that we can learn ukrainian together and i will see you in my next video hopefully very soon bye